Good evening. We've written a big lump of story and music and we'd like to play the whole thing for you tonight. It tells of how a large black cloud descends into Times Square, straddles out across 42nd Street, turns into wool and sucks in Manhattan Island. Our hero, named Rail, crawls out of the subways of New York and is sucked into the wall to regain consciousness underground. This is the story of Rail.
And as the notes and coins I'm taken out, I'm taken in to the factory floor. On the ground,
Thank you. So, at this point in time, our hero is underground and he's moving into a reconstruction of the streets of New York and he moves from this into his first amorous adventures. Having studied many months in the sexual technique by Number School of Philosophy, our hero prepares his motions from initial arousal to completion in a mere 78 seconds. This magnificent feat is accomplished with the second hand tick-tock of his watch and as he performs his first ritual he fails dismally in even providing a small degree of titillation in his opposite number. He is discouraged and left cuddling his very own prickly porcupine. From this he moves on to a long very long carpeted corridor with thick lambs wool with people kneeling obsessively towards a door which they believe will get them to a room with 32 other doors only one of which is actually going to get them out I see faces and traces of home Back in New York City oh.
We gotta get in to get out. We gotta get in to get out. We gotta get in to get out. Just 
If I choose a side Thank you. Rail is taken by a blind lady named Lily White Lilith into a dark cave. Two golden globes start lighting up the cave until there's such a brightness that Rail becomes a little frightened, picks up a stone and hurtles it at the center of the globes. There's a big smashing sound and the ceiling collapses, trapping Rail in a heap of rubble. This, of course, provides him with an opportunity to meet his own personal hero, a gentleman better known to us as Death. Death is wearing one of his delightful costumes that he designed so beautifully himself. His ambition is, of course, to travel and meet people. He carries on his back a little snuff puff pack. One puff and you snuff it. His notorious snuffer removes or escapes our hero and he enters a pool where he's sensually assaulted by three half woman half snake creatures and this neat little affair concludes by rail eating what is left of their bodies which in turn turns him into an ugly lumpy bumpy humpy species of humanity whip me, whip me, whip me. not totally dissimilar to Mr. Phil Collins on my left. Some of you may be aware these lumps and bumps can be removed only by the operation of removing the sexual organs. And it's performed on these unfortunate slipper men by a notorious Dr. Diaper Reform Sniper who for a very small fee will volunteer to cut off your very own windscreen wiper. And these windscreen wipers are very quickly, uh, easily slipped into sterilized yellow plastic tubes. And Rail's sterilized tube is whipped away by a large black bird called Raven, taken down a tunnel and dropped into a deep ravine with gushing water where Rail sees his drowning brother John.
fires along passageway lit by the chandelier. Each step he takes, the perfumes change from familiar fragrance to flavor strange. Magnificent chamber meets his eye.
the lights are dim And once again The stage is set for you
was drifting out of sight It's only at the turning point That you find out how you fight In the cold, feel the cold all around And the rush of crashing water Surrounds me with its sound Taken down, taken down by the undertow And I'm spiraled down the river bay My fire is burning low Thank you.
Hadi. Now I would like to tell the story of a little boy we know by the name of Henry and Cynthia. And Cynthia said to little Henry, What about a game of croaky, Henry? Henry replied, I'd love to. And hand in hand they walked out onto the freshly mown croaky lawn. And just as Henry was about to begin the first stroke with the red ball, little Cynthia comes up behind him with a croaky mallet raised high in the air. <laughs> He's dead. rapidly acquires two fluffy white fully deodorized wing under each armpit, flies all the way up to heaven, is rejected by the authorities, comes all the way down again, and meanwhile little Cynthia pokes around in the old attic room and discovers beneath some books a little wooden musical box.
Thank you, good night. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Bye. 